What's going on guys, Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets and in this video, I don't even know if I'll be able to call it JK Gear and Gadgets anymore. Actually heading down uh, to go pick up a 2006 LJ. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's an awesome Jeep. It's the uh, pretty much like the TJ, but the uh, unlimited version, longer wheelbase. And uh, Cassie's driving me, dropped me off at Petey's house and me and Petey are driving One down um, like an hour and a half to go pick it up and bring it back. Super stoked to make videos not only on the JK, but on the LJ as well. No, 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 I'm gonna start making videos and make my own YouTube channel. Okay, no. so Cassie thinks that it's she my Jeep. she thinks this is gonna end up being her Jeep, but it's not. I'm the one that's gonna be working on it. Unless you're gonna start wrenching. I'll supervise. E exactly. So she, <laughs> are you gonna make your own YouTube channel now? Yes. No, she won't. Don't go subscribe to her. She thinks she's gonna get more subscribers than me. Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. But no, if she does end up making a YouTube channel, uh, I don't know what she would do. Maybe just look at the Jeep. Would you just look at it? I'm going to go hop in Petey's car and uh, we're going to take the trip down and go pick up this Jeep. All right, so we got about an hour left in the trip. Petey's driving. We got Captain America here protecting us. I'm um, <laughs> getting really bored. <laughs> I actually, I already went and checked out the Jeep uh, two days ago and now it's like a two hour drive. So I am tired of making this trip. So I'm going there, giving them the check and we're driving back with an LJ. So we're here, just got the keys to the Jeep. Check it out. Boom. Of course it's red, you already knew that. Funny story, I don't even like red Jeeps, but it always happens that red Jeeps pop up whenever I'm looking. So let's hop in this thing, take it home, and then take some closer looks at it tomorrow. So as you guys can tell, got the LJ in its new home. Oh, it's gonna live a nice life here. Um, but don't worry, still got the JK back there. That's not going anywhere, but the XJ right there is leaving. Uh, so that was the main reason for me uh, buying this LJ is because me and Cassie are giving her brother the XJ because uh, he's getting his license and it's a great first car. So uh, that's gonna go away soon. You know, I need to fix up a few things that we're sending it off to him so he can have a nice uh, first, first Jeep. Uh, nothing better than, uh, hooking somebody else up into you know the Jeep world. But let's take a look at the LJ. I'll talk about it, uh, some of the things I like about it, some things that are gonna have to get fixed ASAP, and uh, overall plans for it. So let's go check so it out. This LJ is a 2006. It's actually the last year they made the LJ. If you guys don't know what the LJ is, you're like, man, it looks like a, a TJ Wrangler. It's pretty much exactly the same, except for the extended wheelbase. So the wheelbase is nice and desirable, because one, you get more storage room in the rear, two, it's better for off-roading, have a little bit longer wheelbase than the standard two-door, and three, it rides better with the longer wheelbase. So I was pretty uh, pretty happy with the ride. I drove it 100 miles so far uh, since yesterday, since I picked it up, and it does pretty well. Um, the tires are loud as crap. They are the uh, Firestone Destinations uh, 35s, and those things are extremely loud on the highway. A um, Little bit of shimmy, so I might have to balance them or I'm thinking of just go ahead and throwing some Yokohamas on there. Cause as you guys can tell, I mean, their tread life's pretty worn out. Not sure if I'm gonna stick with 35s or drop down to 33s until I can upgrade some other stuff uh, to handle the 35s. As you can tell has the uh, Poison Spider hood louver. I'll probably end up painting that red or black. Already has a Smitty built winch with a front bumper unknown. Um, so the winch is actually pretty much brand new. Right off the bat, the first thing I ever noticed was the hood latch. That little uh, plastic or the rubber broke and they put zip ties on it. So uh, I had a lot of hood flutter on the highway. That's gonna have to get fixed. I have a set of JK hood latches and I just mocked it up and sadly it won't work. Um, steering, they actually did a pretty nice steering. They went with the cab fab, um, you know, heavy duty uh, crossover steering. But as you can tell, they did the over the knuckle high steer and left the track bar in the original bracket. So what that does is cause horrible bump steer. Um, so one of two options, either move this high steer down below the knuckle or get a raised track bar bracket and weld it on. And you know me, um, I don't like to downgrade. So since it's already over the knuckle, 
we're gonna weld on a new uh, high track bar bracket. So make a video of doing that and talk about everything in general on steering on any Wrangler. So I'm gonna start incorporating the LJ and the JK for you guys that are watching. Uh, you know, whichever one you have, there's a lot of similarities and just the overall, um, you know, basis of steering and suspension components. So it has a two inch lift, got the rock crawler coils, rock crawler uh, sway bar links, uh, adjustable track bar, has a uh, Terraflex shocks sitting up in there. Uh, they rode all right, a little bit stiff for my liking. Um, JK wheels, they're actually 16s, which is extremely weird. Um, so I might have to change those out to some 17s to fit a better selection of tires. Uh, has the spider tracks wheel spacers. As you can tell, has the poison spider armor all around. Um, overall, the paint is in pretty good condition. Of course, there's some spots that I will have to work on, but that stuff I'm not worried about. The engine purrs beautifully. Um, has 122,000 miles. One thing I would like to note, on guys that are looking at older Wranglers, you have to realize how long the bigger tires have been on for. Um, so in this case, he did not correct the speedometer for the bigger 35s. So the speedometer will say 50 when I'm uh, actually going, you know, 62. So the odometer saying 122,000 miles could equal 135, who knows? Um, but from what I got gathered from him, uh, these tires were put on within the last year, year and a half. So uh, I expect the, uh, Odometer be pretty close, right around 120 to 130. Um, one thing I really don't like that they did is they pulled out the carpet. I really do like carpet on Jeeps because it muffles the noise and heat a lot. Um, so I'm either gonna go with the, the like the bed tread or bed rug, whatever you call that stuff, or just uh, like Rhino line it or Monster line it, something um, to clean up that. The seats are in pretty good shape. Little rip right here, uh, rip over there too. But overall, the interior is actually pretty nice um, has the manual doors but doors will probably stay off most of the time we have the rampaged soft top on it which is pretty cool with a little fastback design um, but I'm not gonna get into all the specifics this rear tire carrier setup is gonna have to go uh, I like the rear bumper but I'm not a big fan of the rack and the spare tire setup adds a lot of excess weight up high I'm never gonna mount anything up there so that's coming off one thing I did notice right off the bat is I think the latch broke for the spare tire carrier so they welded a nut and a little twist mechanism but as you can tell this is gonna have to be cut because I actually tried twisting it and the nut hits right down here so you can't turn it all the way let me that's too tight right now so I'm gonna have to get my saws all cut that off so I can actually open up the rear hatch um, I think that was hindsight uh, maybe they just had a friend weld that on and didn't try to open it um, so yeah, you twist it and it hits. Uh, so definitely not very good fabrication skills right there. I don't know. Um, little overspray right here. We'll fix that up. This light is out. Noticed that last night. So I'll have to mess around with that light or just get new ones. Um, and overall, this thing looks pretty sick. It drives nice, except for the steering. So the first thing I'm gonna fix on this is the steering, get this thing roadworthy, uh, just so it doesn't jump around every time I hit a bump. Take those stickers off. Um, I already took the stickers off on the other side and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, this thing is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to fix up and just get it to the point where it can be a great daily driver, still hit some hard trails. And honestly, I'm thinking of turning this into like a trail rig slash camping rig to take the family in. Um, you know, I still have the JK and that is amazing on the trails, but it'd be nice for me to drive that. And then Cassie, to hop in this and go wheel together in separate Jeeps. So uh, she's inside getting some uh, some work done that she has to do for work, but she's gonna come out later and uh, walk around. She's been talking about making her own channel <laughs> on this Jeep. So we'll see about that. Uh, it'd be pretty cool if she did. Um, but I know she's gonna make me do all the wrenching. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's gonna be a lot more coming, um, not only on this, but on the JK as well. As you can tell, I got some new rock rails that are going on the JK and that video should be dropping soon. These things are ready to bolt on. I just need an extra hand uh, to help me put them on. Um, so JK videos, LJ videos, boom, we got it. Hopefully there'll be a JL video soon. Nah, that'll be uh, maybe next year. I don't know, unless somebody wants to buy one for me. I'm broke now. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the LJ. If you have any uh, cool mods in mind or you have like a vision for this thing, 
let me know i'd love to hear it um there's a lot of awesome lj builds out there i'd love to do like an awesome rock crawler with it but i just don't think having two uh you know suit like extremely built jeeps is going to be the best idea so this thing's going to keep it mild uh you know fun for driving camping off-roading but nothing too extreme like always subscribe if you haven't as you can tell getting a nice round of wranglers here so uh yeah until next video stay tuned for uh these rock rolls going on from barnes four wheel drive they're going on the jk and uh gonna be a lot of videos on this bad boy so see you guys